some blues coming out of our ears. In fact, I'm surrounded by blues right now. I got Double Trouble, Steve Ray Vaughn. Welcome, Kate. I'm going to get their names right. Watch this. Reese, Chris, and Tommy. Uh, very and good. And Stevie Ray Vaughan. Right, Welcome. Okay. So you're on tour with Robert Plant now. Mm -hmm. Now, you were telling me this, I think this is very funny, that your, that your road crew is under a lot of pressure now because they have to be right on top of it now? Yeah, we have a, our set is 60 minutes, the crew has 10 minutes to get all of our equipment off the stage, you know, exactly 10 minutes. And if it takes any longer than that, then uh, Robert Plant's show is two hours, I believe, then yeah. that'll go over. So they have to be, they really have to click. That's wild. Now, what about the audience that Robert Plant is attracting? Is that giving you a whole new audience, or is it basically your audience? Pretty much, I believe. It's, it's uh, well, it, we sold a lot of the tickets, but, you know, there's, there's half again, at least, you know, or more, uh, people who probably have never heard us. But it's going over real well, and we're having a lot of fun with it. Well, I can see that both audiences are definitely crossed over, because you've got the guitars happening there, yeah. and that's what they're there to hear. So that's great. So, okay. <laughs> Now we have a new and, <laughs> new and improved, and I understand that you have totally cleaned out. As a matter of fact, congratulations. Now is this the whole band that I, that I have to congratulate, or is this just Stevie? I'm and also cleaned up. That's yeah. just great. We cleaned up at the same time. That's fabulous. Yeah. That's like 19 months on the 13th, on the 13th of May yeah. that you haven't touched any drugs or drink. That's right. That's amazing. Much That's real better. good. And what, ha what is the straw that broke the camel's back that... Well, I collapsed in London. Uh, I actually collapsed in Germany first, and then it kind of continued on into London where we had to cancel the tour uh, about, what, two years ago? Yeah. Two years ago in September. And uh, there was no way but up to go. It was either that or die, you know, and there's just too much to do, too much to live for. So you actually checked into a clinic? Mm-hmm. Yourself and Yeah. Did you go together? Uh, he places. went in Georgia and I went in Texas, but it was the same type place. And uh, it's the best thing I ever did for myself, you know. I think it's just yeah. great. Now, when you go to a place like this, I mean, it's not just a physical thing. It's a, it's a mental rehabilitation mm -hmm. in a big way. So what can someone tell you who is so addicted to, to something that gives you such pleasure in a way? What can they tell you that would want to make you stop? Well... I had wanted to stop for a long time, I just didn't know how, you know? Once it turns into a vicious cycle, where you can't see yourself without it, which is where I was at, I, I, I was to the point where I really could not imagine going another day without anything. And uh, for me, that was several days at a time before I would crash, you know? And staying drunk the whole time as well. And uh, I started forgetting about the people that I care about, you know? and the things that I cared about, and that hurt not only me, but them, you know? Yeah, there's also a, there's a time that'll finally come, you know, when you're really screwing yourself up like that. But there's a time that'll come when you really instinctively want to get out of it, and you know there's time, that it's time to do something about it. Yeah. So now that these guys have cleaned up their act, how has the band? How has the band changed now that that there's a different mental state, head state going on? Oh, it's like we started all over again. It's like it was years ago. It's like everyone's everyone's having fun again, and uh, music sounds great, and it's just a real good time again. It's like the party. The, the party started, and the party got longer and longer, and the party got deeper and, and deeper, out of hand. <laughs> and darker and darker. Now it's like we're back in the sunshine again. It's great. Yeah. How has it affected your approach to music? Just your looking at your guitar, is it, does it even look different now that you're, uh, you pick it up and you're straight? Well, I can see it for one thing, you know. <laughs> uh, the whole, the, everything about living is a lot better, you know. Even on my worst day now, it's a, a whole lot better than it was on my best day then. That's great. You know? Not to dwell on this, this is just one more thing that I was curious about. Now, I, I know that you're doing some, some um, spokesperson bits for, is it AA that you're, you're being a spokesperson for? No. Um, it, what I did was I did, a, I did a commercial in Texas that's picked up nationwide um, about not doing drugs and driving. Yeah. You know, which was a lot of people's favorite pastime, you know. Not, not intentionally, but that's what it turns into be. Right. Uh, and it's basically, you know, if, if, you, if you're uh, doing drugs, you got a problem. And if you do it and drive, you could have death, you know? You have other, give other people problems you as well. You could kill somebody. The reason why I was bringing that up is, is 
both of yourselves and yourselves too. When you see an ad like that on television, how often do you, when you are a, a drug abuser yourself, do you really listen to the guy on television? Do you think that you're going to make an impact and do you think people will listen to you? Even if you, la if you, even if you laugh out loud at the TV, you know, it still, it still sets a seed, you know. Because, you know, when, when everybody, that's, everybody that's in a real bad shape begins to suspect it if they don't already know it. You know, yeah. and like you said, it come, there comes a time when you really want to get out of it and want it more than anything. Just don't know how. Finally, you can break through some of the denial of it. You know, and and so, you got to hit a bottom, I guess, is what it amounts to, of some kind. And yeah, there really is a turning point. There's a turning point when you. It seems like you just can't go any further down without dying, and you got to make a choice of either living or dying. It's really that simple. And even public service announcements, if, if one person hears that, it makes a difference and it's yeah. all worth it. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, it's such a pleasure to talk to you guys. And I don't want to, we don't want to dwell on this because you're, we're here to talk about your music, not about this stuff, which is great nonetheless. So let's play some videos. We'll come back and we'll talk some more about some rock and roll, okay? okay. All right, this is Steve Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. We got Couldn't Stand the Weather. How much music?